Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick overview of the Holosun 507C. Uh, so we did a previous review of the 503CU, which is a 65 MOA red dot. Um, this is actually a 32 MOA red dot with a 2 MOA in the center. Um, but this is a micro red dot specifically for use on handguns or uh, 45 degree offsets, things like that. Um, I saw the features of this and heard a lot of people give some really great reviews on this product, so I had to pick one up myself. This is the X2 series. Uh, so let's get started here. Um, comes with a lens cloth and a manual. Uh, it folds out into a poster in case you want to put it on your wall for some reason. Um, and basically it's just, you know, frequently asked questions, how to mount the battery, uh, how to mount the optic, that kind of stuff relatively straightforward information uh, but it's all relatively useful information so just take some time read the manual for once huh inside the box we get a couple sets of screws and then we get our nice little tool and our red dot so there is the hollow sun 507c it's got a nice little solar panel on the top it's a nice little anti-glare coating and then the hollow sun, that's, that's the actual side that the battery is gonna go in. And then there's the buttons on the side. All right, there we go. That's a good representation of how the dot, uh, how big the dot actually is in the window. Pretty good. I mean, we, we were engaging targets up to 75 yards the other day with this dot, uh, no problem. Now you don't have to only stay in this mode. You can actually hit the minus button and hold it down for three seconds, two, three, and just get a dot like that the two MOA dot, or you can hold it down for three more seconds and only get the circle without a dot in the center. So if you hold it down for another three seconds, there you go, then we got the dot back in the center. So uh, pretty cool there. Um, then if we go ahead and, so right now I have it on manual mode just so that you guys, I can let you see. So I've got 12 modes to include uh, two night vision modes of brightness that I can shift through. If I hold it down for three seconds, there we go, then it will have the solar option. So now if I put my hand over here, yeah, there we go, get dimmer. And then when I take my hand off, it'll get brighter. Um, pretty good option. If you're shooting outdoors, like in the desert, like we do, you can stay on solar all day long and you'll be totally fine. But if you're shooting in more dimly lit environment, uh, say you're, you're overcast or whatever, you may wanna shift into those manual modes. Then there's also a lockout mode if you hold it for another three seconds so that if you touch any of the side buttons, like say if you were concealed carrying or you were gonna use the gun for hard use or something like that, and you consistently bumped the buttons on the side of this thing, then you could lock it out. And that way, then the only way you can make adjustments is if you hold it down for another three seconds and then you could go to town. Um, there's also a sleep feature on here. So if you hold this plus button for 10 seconds, just like on the 503C that we did, um, you can cycle through either 10 minute auto shut off, one hour auto shut off, or 12 hour auto shut off. So that's, so one blink is 10 minutes, two blinks is one hour, and three blinks is 12 hours. So we're gonna go down to 10 minutes. And then, I go ahead and I just turn the unit off. So I press both the plus and the minus once I've got my setting down. And then I hit the plus again and I'm set. So quick feature overview on that. Um, something to keep in mind with the 507C, uh, each click is actually one MOA. So you're, if you're trying to get fine tune and get half MOA adjustments, you're just not gonna see it. Um, but also these are generally to be zeroed at 25 or 15 yards. So one MOA should be sufficient. Okay, so something to note here is this is actually the Trijicon RMR footprint, which I think was a great choice by Holosun um, due to the you know, increased compatibility with this specific product. Um, we did pick up this product for about 250. You can get them from 250 to 280. Now, something to, to think about with this optic though is it is an open emitter. 
So I would use this for sporting use, uh, maybe everyday carry, but if you were gonna use it for duty carry, I would probably push you in a different direction. I would get a closed emitter optic like the Aimpoint Acro or the 509s. Um, there's also more durable options. They have a titanium version of this. Um, you've got the Trigicon RMR, which is, has been the industry standard for years. Uh, for a reason, it is a very robust optic. There's also uh, Trigicon SRO, which is a much wider window. There's the Leupold Delta Point Pro, which the US Army actually chose for their red dot. Then there's options like Vortex Venom and the Burris Fastfire. Now those last two are probably gonna be further into your budget realm than this will. Um, this is kind of, uh, kind of uh, what I would say is the middle of the road red dot, um, but Again, a relatively budget option. We're getting up there in price, but you're increasing your capability as a result. Um, that 32 MOA dot is gonna get you faster target acquisition and maybe end up saving your life, maybe not. Um, just depends on what kind of application you're gonna put that optic in. And as always, think about how you're gonna use the gun before you go out and spend the money. I'm gonna be putting it through its paces just like we do with the majority of the gear here. Uh, I jokingly tell people that I break things for a living. So other than that, guys, um, I appreciate you watching. Like and comment. Please subscribe. Let us know what you wanna see next. Thanks.